What is good, everybody? Yavin 4 is looking absolutely incredible right now. Excited to play some Battlefront 2. I've been playing this game a little bit again in 2024. I really didn't play much Battlefront when the uh, the game came out in 2017. I played a lot in the original Battlefront 1 on like Xbox One days. But this game is having a little bit of a resurgence right now, which is pretty awesome to see. Uh, I think part of that has to do with next week, depending on when you're watching this video, is the new Battlefront Classic Collection. Air quoting uh, new here, because um, essentially it is the super old school, like classic Battlefront games that are getting a little bit of reskin. They're coming out on the Switch and PlayStation and Xbox, as well as PC, and some updated servers. And so, man, this game is sick. I need to play this game more. <laughs> oh my gosh. The sounds, it looks, doesn't it look insane? And it's kind of nice that, you know, here we are. Oh, good trade, buddy. Good trade. And I finally have a rig that can run this game on Ultra. And it just looks absolutely amazing right now. I know for a lot of people, the original Battlefront games were their childhood. Like, and there's such huge nostalgia attached to it that I, I actually think the classic collection is going to be a gigantic release. Like, very successful. But I have a few concerns. Like, okay, for myself, I didn't really play um, much of the original Battlefront games. I had a friend who owned them. I didn't own them at the time. Uh, and we would go over, and I remember booting up his PS2 and just loving it. Dude, that little Ewok, bro, with his, his Dodgers. <laughs> they were so on point. So the classic collection, I'm sure, is going to do remarkably well. Oh, bad throw. That's like a Helldivers moment right there. Forgive me. But... With it being 64 player multiplayer, I think platforms like the Switch are going to have a very short lifespan where the game's multiplayer online is, is really playable and successful. This game is so gorgeous. So if you are interested in playing, I imagine the classic collection is going to be one of those things you need to participate in during these first few weeks. It's very likely uh, the lifespan on some of the other platforms may not be as, as lengthy. It is a bummer. Uh, Crossplay obviously would have been amazing. I heard a lightsaber. This is so fun. I wish I played more of this back in the day. I'm gonna back out of there because that dude is straight up sniping and I would rather not die there. I think he's gonna rotate that corner. And I'm gonna die because I have horrible aim on this game. Going from hit scan games to a projectile game is uh. It's definitely a, a different universe for sure. Let's go back, see if we can defend this center point here. Anyway, on the, the Battlefront 2 side, right? The new one, the one we're playing right here. I have covered this game and gone back and played it on the PC uh, every couple of months now for the last two or three years. And there was a point where truly, sorry, bro. Um, the game was not very playable. And I wanna say like nine months ago felt like that to me. Nice job, dude. Absolutely shredding with that sentry over there. Sentry. But something has happened. Maybe it's some sales. I, I don't know. It feels like some of the older Battlefield games are just killing it again. But Battlefront 2 actually has some pretty sick Steam numbers. And you can go and enjoy this game right now. Nice. Good play. I thought he was going to be further to the left. That was actually super sick. And my story with the these newer Battlefront games, right? I played in, let's see, when did Battlefront 1 come out? I played a lot of that on the Xbox One. I hadn't built a PC at that time. And then, oh my gosh, when this game came out, Ultimate Star Wars Fantasy. I, I, I'm so sad we haven't gotten it. Like, look at this. Look at how visually sick this game is. I'm so sad we haven't gotten a Battlefront 3. Like, come on. They nailed it with this. And I feel like now that EA has respawn under them, I'm just pretty bummed, man, that uh, they canceled the bounty hunting FPS game. That would have been amazing. Anyway, once I built my PC in 2017, if you guys know the story when this game came out, my goodness, the loot box controversy, all of it, it was just pretty wild. It was, uh, I feel like, the straw that finally broke the camel's back. And that was when we saw loot boxes sort of shifting. Nice play, dude. Nice play. 
And as such, I didn't really play a, a ton of Battlefront 2 when it came out, and I wish I would have played more of it, you know? Got him. Nice. Nice. Gosh, it's a beautiful game. And it's just running so incredibly smoothly. Oh! <laughs> so I ran straight into an ATRT. Wow. And it just, I don't know, it speaks so much to, like, our childhood. Because growing up, one of my first movies, like, I can remember seeing is Star Wars Episode Four, And it has remained, like, my favorite Star Wars film of all time. I love the original trilogy so much. And then growing up at the time that the prequels were coming out, like, it was unbelievable to be, like, a kid in those years. Going to the theater, I remember there was a line for episode one. I was, like, straight obsessed with episode one. Nice job. I, I rolled straight into that tree right there. I loved that film. I was, like, the perfect age where nothing bothered me, and I only found out later, like, sort of the backlash that the prequels actually had. Um, but, dude, we've been kind of eating good, I feel like, with some Star Wars games here recently. I didn't play. A little dicey there. Nice. Little roll. Nope, nobody there. Um, I didn't really play the new Star Wars Jedi. Was it Outcast? But I did play, was it Fallen Order, the first one? My goodness. Loved that game. So, so good. And I think I'm seeing now that uh, Outcast is on like EA Play service. Nade just there to try and like hold them back, I guess. I don't remember what what is my F? It's a stim? Okay. Dude, how does he have armor in the back? How does that somebody explain that to me? And the game has like active reloading, just like uh Gears of War? <laughs> Let's freaking go, man. Oh. How much fun is this? I remember it complaints with either Battlefront 1 or Battlefront 2. It was too casual. Maybe this was like Battlefront 1. Like people really felt like it just was too simplified of a system and they were going after like a broader audience, clearly. And I don't know. They did a lot of work to make this game much, much better over the years. I do remember it was pretty weak at the start and the star card stuff was kind of bad. If any of you watching are Battlefront 2 veterans, please, please shout out in the comments down below. Like, what were some of those criticisms and complaints? Everything that I see now on the game is just people pretty stoked to get to play a dope Star Wars experience, you know? Oh, wow, those ragdoll physics, dude. With the jetpack going haywire, that's amazing. Let's check back up here. Does the stim, like, queue up my health again? I've got a lot to, to learn about this game. I do enjoy it much more in first person. Nice. Doble, troble. Maybe. Oh I'm going to go with the shoddy because I heard the lightsaber. I see I see Jetpack Bro. He's down there. I'm stuck. I'm totally stuck. Not good. Nice. This is so much fun. Oh, my gosh. Nice. Oh, watch out for Chewy. Oh my gosh, what a sick game is this? Uh, but yeah, anyway, it was mainly watching YouTube videos of this game and its resurgence. That, oh, I'm dead. Han Solo. Nice job. I'll die to Han any day, man. That's like an honor, honestly. But seeing the videos of people playing this game again and being super, super stoked, that's what ultimately drew me back. Dude, look at this straight up fight right here. This is sick. Long bomb. Visually, like this, what a dream. What a dream, dude. This is unbelievable. Oh my gosh, I love it, dude. Boop, active reload. Get out of here, Chewy. AT Walker up there. So in 2019, I started doing more variety content. The channel, if you don't watch it, it's basically a lot of Halo as the backbone, and then I cover most FPS games, and I huge FPS like fan over the years, a lot of Destiny as well. But lately I've been going back, taking a little bit of a break from Halo Infinite, playing Titanfall again. A lot of Helldivers too at the moment. Where's that man? Nice, good play. I dropped one shot there in the, the burst. That would have been so sick. 
and also playing Battlefield again. And it's so sick because these older games, especially on PC, are having such a resurgence. Nice Wookiee blast, bro. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Got him. Oh, dude, this is freaking fun. I am loving this. What I'm in a long winded way trying to say is I am very okay with casual uh, shooters that are fun to hop into that also have obviously like a skill curve and a game that you can really master over time. But it's, it's sort of nice to, to jump back in and play this game. So if the main criticism obviously is like, hey, this game is too casual. I'm unfortunately probably one of those people that enjoy it in this current iteration, in this current state, you know? It's not a, a type of game I would want to take overly seriously. And I think they brought a ton of people onto these games. And speaking of which, DICE, if you're listening to any of, of these videos from, I don't know, Battlefront and Battlefield 5 era, please return the photogrammetry tech that you put in place during Battlefield 1 and in Battlefront 2. Like, this is unbelievable how good this game looks. Whoa, what? I got straight up destroyed. Raccoon, that was sick, dude. It's so nice to go back to a game like this, which in my mind looks substantially better than so many of the modern FPS games that are coming out right now, especially like 2042. Like if we want to look at, you know, EA and stick with dice and whatnot. This, this game looks substantially better and it runs better than the new tech that they're pushing. Like, I'm a little sad. I built my, my PC in 2017 and it's really starting to show its age in terms of the CPU, uh, especially like high, high demanding games. Like most games these days don't like running on a, got it, uh, i7-7700K, which is what I've got in this rig right here. Nice. And, uh, I'm gonna stim up and pull back because I see a ton of people on radar. See over there? Yeah. Let's reload and hit my active superpower. I don't know. He's like way out of there. And so anyway, I'm a little sad because most games are starting to chunder and not run very well on my PC and everything's always like maxed out CPU usage. And it's, it's obviously very expensive right now to do anything. Cost of living, no matter, like, no matter where you're at, it's absurd. And so like throwing a chunk of change at like a new motherboard and a new CPU, that's something like, it's a big choice and something I'm gonna have to like save for for a long time. Nice. So it is, it's kind of cool to go back to games like these that look this good, that feel this good. Oh, did we win? Let's go. And to just get to experience it. So I don't know. Solid, solid game, man. Beautiful. Love it. Battlefront 2. It's going great. We're going to be playing a lot more of it. We're going to play the new Battlefront collection this next week. See if that $30 is really worth it to relive some nostalgia. But man, overall, what a sick game. If you're wondering on PC, numbers are good. You can get into matches again very easily. It's a good time. If you enjoyed the video, like it. Please subscribe for more. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and we will see you again very soon.